Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. My beautiful wife Christina is running the camera hey, today. And uh, we got our newest tiny house. It's a eight and a half by 36 foot long homesteader deluxe. And we're gonna start on the outside here, show you all its options and features. It comes with our standard storage shed on the front here with uh, the Mr. Cool mini split down below. And we, on the exterior, we've got board and batten siding with a metal accent up above this corrugated heavy duty metal. We got, this one has a special feature on the rear of the house, which we'll show you in just a sec, but this also has a custom entry door, which has turned out pretty nice. Very nice. <laughs> and on the back of the house, so normally under the deluxe landing, we would have the bike shed storage, but this one's a little bit different. This one's a kennel, but so the, a dog kennel. So we got the ramp here and climb up the ramp, the do, not the you, but the dog can climb up the ramp <laughs> and go through the pet door there and access the, the kennel through there. You can access it from here. So we've got the, the door, it opens like that and plenty of space for the dog. It goes back about uh, seven or eight feet back that way. And there's access from inside the house and the bathroom to let the dog into that space. And then you can access it from back here for ease of cleaning. Behind this door is the water heater, the water filter, and some extra storage. All right, we ready to go inside the yeah. house? Yeah. Let's check it out. Oh, quadruple axle on yeah, the For the 36 foot trailer. Long. Oh, we should have that door closed. It's a cute door. Let's remember to show it. Okay. So we'll let Peter start in the living area. Yeah, this one has a being 36 feet long, has a little bit larger living area than normal, so um, we've got plenty of space here. He's going to put a full-size sofa here, uh, TV and, and entertainment center on this side. And then we've got... And how much head clearance is that? They will always ask that, don't they? Underneath the loft. we got six foot seven inches underneath the loft here. And that leaves about, at the low side, three and a half feet in the crawling loft. Three foot nine inches, or three foot eight inches in the middle, three foot ten inches on the high side. And then we've got, uh, this is this ladder for the crawling loft. It is removable, so it can be removed and stowed away. And then we've got the dining bar, with the lovely granite countertop. It's got Seating a for cabinet. Two. Cabinet yeah. on one's over there. And then in the corner under there, we've got shelving for extra storage. We got our black pearl countertop, turned out lovely. This one has a low profile microwave with a vent, a vents to the outside. So full kitchen with the two burner cooktop, 24 inch built in oven, electric, with a drawer underneath. And then this also has the toe kit drawers way down here, which is a little extra storage for stuff you don't need very often. A uh, full size sink with accessories that drop in. Got a drainer, and it's also got a cutting board, board that sits in there. Mm -hmm. And then apartment size fridge with with the on a pedestal drawer that helps elevate this fridge, so you don't have to duck down so low to look inside. You have a neat. Oh, let's show the fan. Oh yeah, this one has the double fan on it which is a great upgrade for blowing air into the lofts. And then we've got the storage stairs with cabinet doors and drawers. So lots of storage, extra storage underneath the stairs. And then kick your shoes off down there. Yeah, shoes going there. Little cubby hole. You wanna go into the bathroom? Sure. So this one has to the left there is the washer dryer alcove. 
in the door for the dog kennel. Yeah. But yeah, well, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a cute door. Let's show it. Yeah, we did a cute door for the mm -hmm. pocket door. Not so plain. So the entrance to the dog kennel is go in there. And then a shot. the shelves are there. How big is that? Is the shower piece? Five foot wide by 32 inches deep with a sliding glass door. And the, this is an acrylic faux tile, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Looks like subway tile. So I'll show the view, like how the dog would see it. <laughs> it goes mm -hmm. down into the kennel. And then we'll go around the bathroom. I've got obscured glass window that opens. I always like to have windows that open in the bathroom. But then we also have the exhaust fan. Stink hindered. Standard so flush you toilet. Don't have to worry about water. Medicine cabinet, nice size vanity with flat space around the sink, which is nice. So got a place to place to put your toothbrush your holder. <laughs> So this one has the step to get up over here and also one on the other end of the bed. And the stair lights. Do you see the stair lights? I think so. Up? So this is another fan and then he got the built-in headboard storage with a plug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he opted for the extra outlet here. And it looks like he got another extra outlet over here by the other step. Mm -hmm. Although, and then there's one inside here, but that's kind of standard. Under the window seat. And two full-size wardrobes. And built-in steps to get up into the bed. Are you able to see that from where you're standing? Yeah, I got those steps. Okay. All right. I think that's everything. I think it is. We'll do a view of the... Looking down from the so it's a pretty one. This one had he did the gray painted shiplap instead yeah. of white. This yeah. is the first one we've done that wasn't white painted. Yeah, I really like the way it turned out. Yeah, it looks great. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. All right, thanks for watching. We love you. Tune in again. See you next time.